What's going on everybody? I hope everyone is having a great day so far. We're here with a very special guest, a very talented football player, Darren Reed out of the state of Georgia. Darren, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we greatly appreciate uh, you coming on the show. Thank you. And I appreciate you too. Yeah, absolutely, Darren. And kind of tell the everyone who will be watching uh, this uh, recorded segment, you know, a little bit about yourself, what high school atten you attend, and uh, what position you play. I go to Carver High School in Columbus, Georgia, and I play defensive end. Nice. And, Darren, how did this past season go uh, for you and your teammates? Very good. We made it to the third round of the playoffs, and then we lost to Jefferson, but we had a very good run at it. Okay, yeah. And uh, how about for you as an individual, you know, how did you perform as a defensive end? Great, great season, but I could still improve more. Yeah, no, absolutely, 100%. You know, one of the first things, Darren, that really sticks out to me when I watch your film is you are strong. I mean, you have got grown man strength. I'm curious, what kind of uh, stats are you putting up in the weight room? What are you benching and squatting and stuff like that? Right now, I'm doing 265 on bench right now. And squats, 405, you know. What are you getting into this off season as far as training or workouts? What do you really want to focus on? Um, building more muscle, running, endurance. Darren, you know, you're going to be a senior coming up. I know your class of 2023. Uh, how has the recruitment process treated you? I know for a lot of players, it gets stressful. Some players enjoy it. How, how do you, uh, how are you transitioning into the recruiting process? I, I mean, I enjoy it very much. It's not stressful. It just feels good, and I'm really proud. Absolutely. And what schools have you been in communication with or in contact with uh, specific coaches uh, throughout the process so far? Um, I've been talking to all the, all the schools that recruited me, awesome. like Miami, Florida State, you know. Darren, what do you know about Miami? You know, the, the program itself. Uh, are you informed with the history at all? I mean, I know they used to be pretty good in there, like Florida State. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, that that's a good summary, right? That That's the basics, I would say, yeah. I mean, you know, you do play defensive end, and, you know, they, they're probably going to have a, a couple or three top three-round picks uh, this upcoming draft uh, class. And I believe NC State in 2006 – the only program since then to have two first rounders uh, at defensive end. So, you know, Jalen Phillips and Gregory Rousseau uh, may be first rounders. That's the expectation. So if you're looking to play DN, I think I think Miami could be a viable place. You know, there's, there's a ton of talent. Yes, it is. I like their program. Well, you know, we love hearing that you like the Miami program, Darren. We love that for sure. Um, as I saw today and, and, you know, me and you talked about this a little earlier on Twitter, you were recognized as a four-star on 24-7 sports in the 2023 class. How, how did that feel? I mean, proud. I mean, there's I mean, there's no words. I'm just proud that I accomplished it. Is there any specific players that you have that, you know, maybe a favorite player even or certain guys that you like to copy your game after and look up to? Aaron Donald, for sure. Oh, the best of the best right there, man. All right, now, are you playing uh, defensive end and playing on the interior as well in high school? Yes, sir. Is that something that colleges are talking to you about as well? Yes, sir. The uh, last I saw, you were listed at about 6'5", 260 pounds. Is that accurate? Yes, sir, that is. Okay. Darren, who have you been in contact uh, with the most on Miami Hurricanes coaching staff? Coach Simmons. How has that relationship been? You know, Coach uh, Simpson, he used to be a uh, high school football coach. You know, what can you tell us about uh, Coach Simpson? I mean, he, he's a cool person, someone I could talk to, and he made me feel at home when I on the phone with him. You do. Um, did you ever uh, know beforehand um, – Coach Simpson was is actually a big name in high school football in Georgia. Did you know about his uh, kind of history there? No, sir, I didn't. Yeah, he was coaching at a uh, head coach at Coach Buford for quite a while, and with the Atlanta Falcons. Is that your favorite NFL team, being from uh, the state of Georgia? 
No, sir. Who's your favorite NFL team? Baltimore Ravens. Okay, why is that? I mean, I just like them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Darren, what, what are you trying to work on, um, you know, this offseason, you know, coming from this past year? Um, well, how are your workouts and what specific things are you working on? I'm working on my arms and speed. I'm trying to get my speed down, agility, working on a lot of that. You know, Darren, what are the most important factors to you when you're weighing in your college decision? Is it, you know, just the relationship with the staff? Is it uh, a favorite school you might have always dreamed of playing for? You know, what, what weighs into that? Um, it's all about who likes me and who makes me feel more like I'm at home. Is there anything that you're interested in studying in college? Mechanical engineering. Are you taking some courses in high school to kind of help you uh, develop that? I wouldn't. No, not really. And uh, keeping it, you know, just off football here just for a sec, you know, what, what kind of hobbies do you have? Do you have anything that you truly enjoy doing off the field? Um, working out. I really enjoy that. Sounds like you're dedicated and you're locked in, man. I love hearing it. Yes, sir. Darren, um, you know, what other coaches from other schools have been really made a big impact on you, you know, just relationship-wise? I see Odell Haggins, defensive line coach down at Florida State. Um, he's been in contact with you. You know, any other coaches you've been – had have built a great relationship with? Coach Dale McGee, most definitely. Okay. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, he's a great coach as well. Um, you know – is there ever been a dream offer, offer Darren, for you, um, you know, that you grew up a fan in college football, a specific team, and it's always been a dream for you, you know, to play for? Um, I always wanted to play for Miami. Okay. It has been a dream, a dream come true for me. But my options are still open. Absolutely. All right. Ross, do you have anything else for Darren? Uh, yeah, just uh, wanted to fill him in here so our fans got just a little idea of your last high school season here. What were your stats? You know, sacks, tackles for losses, stuff like that. I had 10 sacks, 45 tackles, and I had six tackles for losses. Very impressive, very impressive. And what is the ultimate goal for Carver High School this upcoming season? What do you guys want to accomplish as a team? State championship. State or bust. I love it, man. I love it. Paul, That that's about all I got, man. All right, Darren. Well, we wish you the best of luck, you know, on the football field. Your dreams of mechanical engineering, majoring in that. You know, we, we believe you have a bright future on and off the football field. And we'll be looking out for uh, Carver High School winning the state title in Georgia this upcoming season. So thank you again, Darren, for coming on the show. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. All righty. Take care.